Now that we've talked about some of the material properties inside of Stager, I wanna move on to the next step, and that's lighting, staging, and rendering. So I've talked about this a little bit, and you've seen me kind of flick it on and off before, but I wanna dive a little deeper into the two rendering methodologies that we have within uh, Substance Stager. The first one is the one that you get right here, right when you open it, it's pretty much the default, and this is our real-time rendering engine. It's, it's pretty good, actually. Like, you can see that um, you know, there's some shadows being cast here on the ground. There's no, pro like I am, I am both in the application with my screen sharing capabilities on and it's, it's taking up a lot of GPU and there's no hesitation here. Everything is fine. Um, and you start to get to it's like some idea of some reflections and stuff as, as I'm rotate the lights around the scene here too. Um, uh, but it's not perfect, right? Like we're not seeing uh, the environment reflected in some of these metal components of these headphones. So what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our ray tracer. What ray tracing is, it's a higher, more accurate um, rendering methodology where the real time is more speed based and meant to be like immediate. The, the, re the ray tracing option is more for like realistic effects. And you can see this, especially in things like you know, if I put in um, just a sphere in the scene here, like I said, if I if I make one, uh, you know, if I make it glass, let's say glass, by default the glass just kind of looks, you know, transparent. It just does, like it has like a little bit of a transparent edge. But if I turn on ray tracing, this tracks more rays from the camera and creates a more realistic, accurate simulation of that glass shape. So you can see now that the headphones are inverted because of the round of the, the sphere and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And we're going to ray tracing off. Now, there are some options that you have while you're working with these. Uh, we'll delete this. Okay, so up here in this little box, these are our render settings. So if I click this, there's actually two completely different um, uh, rendering you know, settings based on which render you're using. The real-time one, it's all about, uh, like, basically you just use this preset button, whether you're using medium, high. Uh, I usually don't even mess with this. I usually just keep it right on medium. Anti-aliasing is how much stair-stepping there is around the edges. So you see like a little bit here. If I wanted to, I can increase that. IBL shadows are image-based lighting shadows. So whether or not those are there, whether they're full or half quality, um, you can adjust that if you're finding that um, if you're finding that your uh, computer's being a little bit laggy. Like let's say you had a um, you know like a, an older laptop or something. Uh, you can also control the shadow opacity as part of this preview. And then there's displacement. Displacement is if there was displacement in the object, which again is like the height map eating away at some of the geometry. You can change that as well. But the second I switch this over to ray tracing. And this does the same thing as turning on that, that slider. You can see I go that totally different set. So now we have render with GPU. So this is because you have the option of rendering with your computer CPU or, or with your CPU if you have one of the supported graphics cards, like an NVIDIA graphics card, or the list is on the, uh, in the documentation as well. I, I have an older NVIDIA card, so the GPU actually renders faster than me, so I choose to use that. Um, you also have additional controls down here. Again, I just usually just met with uh, mess with the the preset the value. So you know, if I turn into high or ultra, um, this will increase the sample sizes. I rarely adjust that or turn that to high unless I really want to see something before I actually send it off to render. So um, just something to be aware of there. So there are two. Um, uh, basically, there are, there are two main rendering functionalities, and the reason why it's important is that if you are looking at something in stager and you're like, you know, I, you know what, I know I put a glass shader on this. I know I put that soft plastic shader on this, but it's just not quite looking right. It's probably because you're in the um, real time rendering and not the ray trace rendering. So just make sure you toggle that and make sure that you're aware of that.